Hello children, I am Miss Smitha. Welcome you all to my grammar lesson in your favorite educational channel, Aav Padhe. Before starting today's session, let me tell you an interesting story. Once upon a time, in a country called Grammar, there lived a family called Paths of Speech. Now, there were three brothers in the family, verb, adverb and adjective. Now, one fine day, after the hectic day of work, verb and adjective were back home. As we can see, they look so tired. Verb is a doing word, so it is tired after a full day of doing things. An adjective is a describing word and it describes a noun or a pronoun. So adjective is also tired of describing full day, noun and pronoun. At that time, brother adverb reads out a letter to them. The letter was an invitation from the king. King had invited all of them in his palace. So if they have to go to king's palace, they would have to dress up. But after a full day of work, the verb and adjective did not have energy to dress up. You can see verb and adverb, verb and adjective are tired. And then the brother adverb said, don't worry my brothers, I'll help you out. I'll dress up verb, adjective and myself. Adverb started dress, uh, dressing up verb and adjective and at the end he dressed up himself and they all went to king's court. The king was amazed to see them dressed up so nicely. Then the king said, oh I see all, oh I see you all have dressed up so well in my court. To this, the brother adjective exclaimed, My lord, all credit goes to my brother adverb. He has decorated me, mean verb and himself and made us look so beautiful. So, he said adverb has decorated me, means the adjective, verb and himself, that is the verb adverb and made us look so beautiful. Now the king asked adverb. So adverb what exactly is your duty? To which the adverb replied, Your Highness, I introduced myself as adverb and my job is to decorate my brother's verb, adjective and myself. So, the job of adverb is to decorate verb, adjective and himself. So, this is exactly the role of adverb in English grammar. So, in today's video, we will learn about adverb. So, in English grammar, adverb is a part of speech which describes or decorate verb adjective and itself. So it describes verb, adjective or another adverb. We already discussed that adjective describes a noun or a pronoun whereas adverb describes verb, adjective or another adverb. Now you should remember that it just describes or add more meaning to these words. It adds more meaning to a sentence or gives additional information in a sentence. It is not very essential to a uh, sentence just like noun, pronoun or verb. We cannot frame a sentence without noun, pronoun or verb. They are the backbone of a sentence. But adverb just adds more meaning or information to the sentence. Now let us ask adverb how does he decorate a verb and his answer is 
I decorate nicely. Now let us see the sentence. Decorate is a verb and when we ask how does he decorate, the answer is nicely. So the word nicely is telling how do I decorate. So nicely is giving more information about decorate. Nicely is describing the word decorate and decorate is a verb. So nicely is an adverb here because it is describing the verb decorate. Now let us ask adverb what does he think of adjective? How does he look? To this his answer is he looks very handsome. Now if we look at the sentence the word handsome is an adjective because it is describing pronoun he. So handsome is the adjective here and very is describing the adjective handsome. It is telling, uh, it is telling us how handsome does he look very handsome. So it is given more information about the word handsome. Very is describing handsome here. So it is an adverb because it is describing handsome which is adjective. Now how does adverb decorate himself? I decorate myself nicely. In this sentence the word nicely is describing the verb decorate. How do I decorate myself nicely? And nicely is describing the verb decorate. And now we know adverb decorates a verb so nicely is an adverb. Also the word very is describing the word nicely. How nicely? Very nicely. So very is the describing an adverb and what do we call when something describes an adverb? Yes, adverb again. Um, so very is also an adverb. So nicely is describing the verb decorate whereas very is describing another adverb nicely. So very and nicely are the two adverbs in this sentence. Now let's see few more examples children. So I decorate nicely. Nicely is an adverb which is describing the word decorate. I decorate myself very nicely. So very is an adverb here which is describing another adverb nicely. She looks very beautiful. So in this case very is an adverb which describes the adjective beautiful. So in the first sentence uh, verb is there uh, adverb is describing verb in the second sentence adverb is describing another adverb and in the third sentence verb um, adverb is describing adjective so now let's revise children what are adverb an adverb is a word which describes or decorate a verb, adjective or another, another adverb. It gives more meaning or information to a sentence. Let's see few more instances. Rohan swims well. So to find the adverb let us first spot verb. In this sentence swims is the verb and describing how he swims well. So well is an adverb here. Now what is the adverb in this sentence? She dances very gracefully. To find adverb let's find the verb first. The verb is dance. So how does she dance? Gracefully. So gracefully is an adverb and how gracefully does she dance? 
very gracefully. So very again is an adverb describing another adverb. There are two adverb in this sentence that is gracefully which is describing the verb dance and very which is describing gracefully. I hope it is clear to your children. So in English grammar adverb describes decorates or give more information about the verb adjective or another adverb. So if you like my video subscribe to our channel for free education on all the subjects from grade 6 to 12th with our skilled teachers. You can also get tricks and quick methods of learning from our short videos on maths, science and many others. Our Aubare app is also available now. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box. You can download the app and enjoy learning anywhere, anytime. Take care children. Goodbye.